All right. So if you have if you have an account, sign in. If you don't, create one. Creating pretty easy. Uh, just get a new email address. Start clean. Do Outlook. Um, put in whatever whatever you want it to be called. Ours is like Zebra F or something. And then. Do a password, make sure it's secure. Um, make sure that you use your actual birthday because it'll want you to be an adult. So, and then, sure, we'll do that. And then the CAPTCHA, W-K-X-K-K-V. S. We'll do that. Okay, so now in your account, you're going to come up here to family. And here's an instructional video you can watch uh, if you create a family group. So this will be. Um, whatever. Uh, I'm struggling to think of the name that I, you would just put in your name. Uh, I'm going to do that. So, so now, uh, I don't, uh, okay. So, So from here, if your kids have accounts, this is where you put them in, right? So if it was whatever that Microsoft account was, you would put that in. So like, all right, so now we're going to create this family group. So it says add someone. So I created this right here. Uh, let's say this is Preston's account. You know, if he's got a Microsoft account, which he should if he's using an Xbox. We're going to pop that in there. Uh, we're going to go next, and this is really important. So um, we're going to make him an, a member, not an organizer, right? Because organizer would be like Nick. You would make Nick an organizer. Um, but he's going to be a member. So you go next. Help if I was actually in the right window. Okay, 5LSHB. So now we're going to send an invitation for him. So now it says pending, right? If we jump over here and go, do this, and then um, we need to put in the password of this account, so you'll need that. And then it's going to give that option. Do you want to join? And yes, we want to join. So perfect. So now um, if I go back here to family. So now I can see that I have a family. All right. So here's my family, right? Um, there's me and then Eva. So notice there, she used her Gmail to do the Microsoft account. You don't have to use Outlook, you just can. Um, but she's, a, she's an organizer as well. Organizer, organizer. And if I go back here, Austin, Brighton, and Zach are all just members like we just saw. So then if I click on activity on Austin, these are the games he's played. This is how much he's played it. This is what he's played it on. Looks like he's been in Chrome, um, which is, that's that. He's been in Steam, Action, and then Steam. So that's that one. But then the other cool thing is I can see the usage for every day. All right, so I can see, you know, there's the time he's had. That's about what it should be. So now if I go back here to um, screen time, 
we have device limits on. Notice Xbox and Windows 10 because the account has to be synced and I'll get to that in a bit. But here's the cool thing is I can do the hours. So every day from, you know, if I click on this, here's the window, 7 a.m. to 9, uh, regular schedule here, 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. So that's where this blue comes in. And then here's the limit for that day. So two hours, you know, that's what we do. And the thing is, this is shared. So if, you know, he plays on Xbox, it uses the same chunk of time. If he uses his computer, same chunk of time. And that's that's one of the reasons why we really like it. So if I go back here to um, my family and I go over to Brighton, same thing if I look at him. Same thing, he has two hours every day. It's shared between Xbox and Windows. Again, that's because these accounts are synced up. So when Brighton logs into his computer, he logs in with that account. And then on the Xbox, this account is tied into his Xbox account from that picture above. So um, this right here, bounce block, that's Brighton. Those accounts are synced up. So because that has to be a Microsoft account and then this has to be the same Microsoft account. That's how you manage the time between the two. So then um, if I go to activity, I can see he played Apex Legends. I mean, this this shows like the, in, the last, um, you know, from the 13th. So basically for the week, right? I can go back and look at last week too. So that's what he played. I can see here he played Xbox. That's where he played Minecraft. This he played on his computer. All that kind of stuff. So um, you can also, you know, get more granular. Um, there's something you don't want him to have access to. You can block it from here. Um, you can also do age limits. So. You know, Brian has no restrictions right now, but I could put him in um, an age category. Like that's where I have Austin and Zach. So that's kind of the, the overview. And then the other piece of this is the app. So that's going to be a different deal, but I'll get that one as well. All right. So here's the app. It's called Microsoft family. I think I'll double check that, but, um, the app is very much laid out the same way. Yeah, it's called Family Safety is what it's called, but it's laid out the, the same way. Um, as you can see, you can look at all the same information, but one of the really cool things is this request place right here. So let's say they get a thing that says, hey, they've got 15 minutes remaining. They're in the middle of a match. They're gonna rage if they don't get to finish the match. They can send a quick request to your phone where it pops up in that requests area. Like you can see how we've granted those requests. You can just say, okay, fine, give them 15 more minutes so they can finish their match to avoid rage. So. Um, it's very useful. I would recommend getting the app as well, signing in with your account. Once you get the account set up and signed in, it's all gravy from there. So.